Hi everybody, Ben here from Outless Ordinary. So, I am going to try out some new colours that I got. So, I tried getting these before and they had sold out while I had them in my shopping cart. So, before I got a chance to pay, um, they were out of these colours. So, I have Treasured Gold in Fire Opal. So... One thing with these I've actually found is that it's kind of like a red that has a gold um, metallic through it. But it doesn't always mean that the metallic is even. Um, it's hard to explain. See on the, I don't know if you can see on the bottom, see how the metallic's kind of settled in one spot and that? It's a little bit unusual, um, the way that they look. So, but I'm using Fire Opal. I have also got Pink Zircon, which is a, it's kind of like a, a desert sand pink. Well, desert sand as in a red desert sand or pinky desert sand. And um, I've already used this before, but gold. So I thought those three colors would look good together. I also have um, gray as a base, which is a gray that I've made up using mostly white with a little bit of black. And my other color, I think it's this one. Yes, this is going to be my other color. So this is what I thought was black that I made up for another artwork, which happened to actually be Payne's Gray. So it's very, very, very dark, but um, I liked I like the kind of colour that it gave me in this, so I'm going to use this as, again. So just like normal, I always give everything a little stir. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the base in this colour, which was 35 grams white and about 4 grams black. This is in the Eraldo di Polo because I'm... Um, my Montmartre has got a few lumps in it and I am notice, starting to notice it in my artwork and I don't like that. So for the moment I don't have another white so I have to change brand. So I've got Eraldo Di Polo here. I'm just going to get my stirring stick. There we go. So I made this up um, earlier today. I didn't have time to paint, I had to go to work, so I thought I'll do this once I'm home. So it does feel thicker in the Arado di Polo than it does in the Montmartre. Um, which doesn't feel thicker in the bottle, but once I've made it up with um, Floetrol, it actually still seems thicker. So we will see. I may even add a touch to it. No, I, I won't. I don't want to mess with it. So, the colours I have were about 6 grams paint and then 12 grams Floetrol. So, I made them 2 to 1. So, there's the three colours. Um, and the Payne's Grey was three, three parts Floetrol to one part paint. And that is Holcroft Professional. So I'm just going to put these aside while I do the base. So the base coat is pretty easy. Yeah, it's thicker, I can tell. Very different, behaves a little bit differently, this Serraldo Di Polo to my Montmartre. So I'm just going to do this on camera. It's going to be easier. So we just want to spread this around. And if you notice, I left a little bit of paint in my cup. I find it's good to keep some for, well, I'll say for emergencies, but for whatever occasion, just in case there's something you need to fix up. It's always good to have some paint there. So what I'm doing is just coating the canvas in um, the base coat including the sides, if anything, the sides are the main part that um, you kind of just, it's best to just 
get them done. I am going to tilt this to make it even. But I find the paint actually rolls over a lot smoother when you have the base coat done. So it actually works out quite quite good to have this all prepared ready. Yeah, so this is what I mean by each brand will be slightly different. So this is thicker. Um, then my Montmart and like I said even though it doesn't feel like it in the bottle I can feel it on the canvas so you've got to kind of learn your paints a little bit I knew the Araldo has come out thicker the last few times so it wasn't a surprise to me um, But I don't always want to thin it out too much. I like to keep my measurements a little bit easy to follow. Because this is me kind of teaching people what I'm doing. And I, you need to kind of keep it simple to a degree. Just so people can actually follow, follow and copy what you've done. So there's a fair bit of paint on the canvas here. I actually made up enough paint to do a different size canvas. And, um, I actually don't have one. <laughs> that was a little bit silly of me. So I had enough paint to do a 12 by 24 when I only have a 12 by 16. So that was my little dilemma. Um, making up enough paint for a canvas I didn't even have. Probably something I should check beforehand. Normally I've always got canvases of the size I want, but I haven't been to the shop and brought some lately. Alrighty, so paint's on. Now we're just going to tilt. There's going to be plenty of paint, <clears throat> plenty of paint here to cover this canvas, so doesn't matter if I tip some off while tilting just keep your eye out for movement that's not going the way you want it to yeah there I never used to have trouble with flow troll having um, lumps in it Lately, I have noticed it, which is a shame because um, it kind of disappoints me about using it so much because I do like Flow Troll. I think for the price that it is, it shouldn't have lumps or bumps or imperfections. Especially the Australian float troll. Um, it's not not as cheap as float troll or old troll in other countries. It probably depends where you live, but Australian float troll does. It is good stuff. I do love it, but um, it adds up a little bit when you're using it quite a bit. Okay, so. That's the canvas covered. So I ended up drawing lines. Julie's always done that before, and I thought I need to do that um, occasionally because I need to be in camera. I think I'm back where I need to be. Okay, gloves off. Oh my goodness, look how much paint I got on my... I'm sorry, but I have to fix this because this frustrates me having paint on my tool. Because when I go to pick it up, then I get paint all over my hands and then it gets everywhere. All right. <laughs> I 
all good, nice and clean again. So I'm going to get a swipe paper towel ready. Might get a couple aside. So. <clears throat> There we go, that's ready for me. I got my swipe cards. Now, what I'm going to try and do is a, um, not a normal ghost swipe like I do. I think that's that one and that's this one. So just stirring up my paint because I made it a good, 12 hours ago. Stir up the next one. Yeah, so with these two, the pink zircon looks like it's a pink color with silver added. And the fire opal looks like it's a pink color with, or a ready type of color with gold added. So it looked like a very similar color apart from one's got silver tone to it and one's got a gold gold tone to it and the gold is just gold oh <sighs> goodness at least it didn't go on the canvas what a shame all that lovely beautiful paint okay Hopefully I've still got enough left. That was disappointing. At least I didn't say a bad word. <laughs> and I got one little drop inside my um, paint grey, but that's okay. So now for the challenging part. I'm going to use this. really hard to do a semicircle I find. I'm gonna try that. I think that's relatively even. Oh goodness there's paint everywhere. Right. Let me just clean off my sticks so then I can actually still use them to stir if I need to. The gold one's okay. Okay, so that was the fire opal. Now I'm going to go the gold. And yes, I did do a smaller, uh, thinner line because half of it tipped out onto my board over here. Now I'm going the pink zircon. And then we're going to go some paint grey. Paint grey I might do... A little bit like this. Why did it get heavy all of a sudden? A little bit more over here. Okay. So, this is it for the moment. Let me double check I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording that big mistake I did by spilling my paint. <laughs> now, let's see how we go with this. So I'm just going to get my card and swipe. I got a little bit heavy on that corner and it showed a little bit of the canvas. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of this grey that's come off. Mm. I'll just dab that there. Ah, look at those cells, but they're absolutely beautiful. 
Now I'm going to get the card. So it's bringing up really, really nice cells. This is my challenging part. I kind of feel like I need to flip the canvas so I can actually do this at the right angle. Um, thinking. All right, I'm going to do more on this side before I get to that side because I need to turn the canvas to be able to do that. But what's going to happen here is I need to try to fill out this other area. I don't want to mess up these cells too much, but I don't think I'm going to have much option. So what I need to do is I need to drizzle a bit of the colour where I want to swipe. So we'll go the same order we went before. It's going to be hard to get that. Let me get another of my mini pop sticks out. I got these the other day, these miniature pop sticks, and they are perfect for these little cups that I use to make my, my paint with. So I'm quite happy with them. Oops. So now I'm going to get a thinner card and I'm going to swipe through that one. Okay. So that has done what I wanted. So now I need to just continue with putting down some of these colours. It's a little bit more of a slower artwork and it's messy because I spilled paint and getting it all over my hands. There we go. What I could have done is maybe made my circle <clears throat> a little bit bigger because I find it looks really awesome as first and as it goes out, it, it's still good, but it's, it loses a lot of the cell action as it swipes out further. But this is something you learn each time you do something. You kind of go, hmm, I might do that a little bit differently next time. So, where do we want to swipe through now? Let 
let's try those three. I th sometimes think you're better off to underdo it and then add more than overdo it and then try to erase what you've done because erasing what you've done never works. that out my way. Don't need that one. Okay. So I'm just watching cells develop and all that. I don't think I can, I think if I do too much more here, I think I'm over gonna, going to overwork it. So I'm now just going to turn my canvas around. Let's just get rid of this paper towel and get a new one. So tonight feels like one of those nights where things are going okay, but they're not, not going as smoothly as I planned. So let's do this edge first. Now, I need these. And a little clump there. Okay, now, bit of red here, bit of red there, and I'm going to have to put a bit of red here, too. So when you do something new, always just have fun with it, see how it goes. And if it doesn't turn out as perfect as normal, just tweak it and figure out what you would change next time. I'm loving the cells I'm getting. And I like the colours. Wipe that through. Swipe that through. And swipe that through. Okay, so we're getting some development. Sometimes it's good just to look at it and see how it's going. cells are coming up and they're so golden that I'm really pleased so that's a good thing that's probably my favorite thing about this 
is um, the cells are actually turning out quite well. Now, I think I need to do this part here again. So let's just put a big amount of color here. Now my hardest part is going to be swiping it that direction. I'm going to swipe, be in the way for a second because I'm going to have to swipe through here. Okay. So when I do these swipes, I'm actually not putting a lot of pressure down. Um, I'm kind of just letting it float and glide over. I need to do this. Yeah, I thought so. This part's going to be a challenge. Okay, and I have to do this so gently. Because the canvas is right there. And the last thing you want to do is push down too hard onto the actual canvas and on the edges especially because that's where the piece of wood is. In the middle, you've got a little bit more lead way whether you can put much pressure there or not. Oh, my back's not liking that position. Okay. Now, how is that looking? I like this part here, but I want to change that little bit in there. So I think I'm going to have to just do something about it because it's one of those things. Sometimes you just have to adjust. I usually don't like to adjust things, but I do believe it needs it. And I'm glad I'm used the paints grey and not black. I think that is probably the best part. So swipe through this and out that way. Okay, that's better. Much better. Cells are coming up, and I think I need to swipe I think I need something down here, so I'm not actually afraid to add some at the moment because I'm still getting that lacing no matter whether I've re-swiped or not. So I'm just going to go for it. There we go. I think that's looking good. It's looking a little bit more even now. That circle is not 100% even, but that's not too bad. I might leave this. I don't think I'm going to keep adding more to it for now. I'm going to tweak this next time. I think what I might do next time is, with my circle, I might bring it, so I was actually going to do a, a wider, thinner canvas, but so I think I'm going to bring that um, circle down a little bit deeper 
and swipe a lot more to all the way to the edge not so over here it's all the way to the edge because it's closer but then this part here it's a little bit further away which isn't too bad but I think I'm just going to tweak it and see what looks better next time and that's the fun of it you just got to adjust things and see how it turns out I think there's one thing I might be able to do that might even it up a little bit. Right here, I think. So I just told myself I wasn't going to do more and then what did I do? Put more paint on. So this time I'm going to try and go all the way through to the corner. That's good. See the cells developing. And they do continue to develop. As they go. Alright. One last part. Sometimes you could be here the whole day just adding bits and pieces and keep swiping along. But sometimes you got to say, I think I've completed what I planned to do. I have gold all underneath my nails. I'm never going to get that out. <laughs> That's better. I liked how I added that last one. I think that has kind of evened it out a little bit more. Still not completely in a circle, but that's fine. It's, it's art. It's meant to be kind of different all right i'm just gonna say i'm done cool what do you guys think <laughs> so where are we all right i'm gonna pause it and bring you down okay so there we go so it's kind of a sunflower it's not the colors aren't 100 percent in the camera but let's go have a look at all these lacing and cells See how they've turned out. Quite cool. So this is just something I might play around with again another time. See how there's that gold in there. So sometimes my back is a little bit sore and it's hard for me to stand in a position for too long and continue to do things. But I'm, I'm really happy with how this is. There's gold that runs all the way through it. Really nice lacing. Can I get different angles? So there's that. And as we go back out, the colours change as I go back further out. Don't know why it does that. Alright, well I won't keep this too long, it's already been a long enough video, so I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think, and um, I'm going to experiment a little bit more with this. So, um, treasured gold in fire opal, pink zircon, and gold with um, Payne's grey and a grey background. So let me know what you think, and um, so comment, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon for another pour. Okay, good night. bye.